How does a Bordon II pressure gauge measure pressure? Fluid, like air or water, go through the process connection and up into the Bordon II. As pressure inside increases, the tube straightens out. A gear transfers the motion to the dial pointer. In fancy engineering terms, the tube deflects. The movement converts that deflection into a rotary movement of the pointer. Why do pressure gauges come in standard ranges of 15, 30, 60, and 100 PSI? A Frenchman named Eugene Bourdon invented the Bourdon tube in the mid-1800s. To this day, most Bourdon tubes are made in Europe, where pressure is measured in bar or atmospheres. This is why the standard pressure gauge ranges of PSI tend to have equivalent bar denominations. For example, 15 PSI is equal to 1 bar, 30 PSI to 2 bar, and 60 PSI to 4 bar, and so on and so forth. What about the Bourdon tube is different for different ranges of measurement? A Bordon tube size and wall thickness determine the range of a gauge. Larger, thin wall tubes are used to measure lower pressures. Smaller, thicker wall tubes are used to measure higher pressures. For very high pressures, thick wall tubing is used to create a helical Bordon tube. Within a gauge series, the mechanical movement is the same from as low as 10 PSI to as high as 10,000 PSI. So from what we've seen, it's the different size and wall thickness of a Bordon tube that dictates the range of a gauge. How long do Bordon tube pressure gauges last? The Bordon tube is incredibly robust and can last millions of cycles and decades of operation under normal conditions. Conditions that lead to shorter lifespan include overpressuring, extreme temperatures, shock, pulsation, vibration, corrosion, and clogging. Can you recalibrate the Bordon tube? Yes. Most pressure gauges can be calibrated. We adjust the pointer or gear inside. This can correct small change in the movement or tube over time. Can you replace the bottom tooth? No. The bottom tooth stretches, plucks, cracks, or breaks. The entire pressure gauge is not repairable. 